Welcome back to the Illusion of Guy. Let's play. We're part 22 or 23. I can't remember. I'm doing all this at once, but whatever, whichever one it is, I'll get it sorted out in uh, when I edit. So it won't matter. But we're doing Mount Cress. The long-awaited Mount Cress that I talked up. We are in it. And it is a very confusing dungeon. But it is part of the game. It will merit us a mystic statue. I think. No, it doesn't. This is just to help Neil. The Mystic Statue is actually at Anchor Watt, which is a much easier and more straightforward dungeon. Oh, I defeated all the enemies. That is up next, and that you get a Mystic Statue for. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, it wants me to turn back into Will, eh? Well, that's alright. I think I'll do that. I just really wanted the heal from you, guy. I don't, I don't really care about that. And we're turning back into Will again. And away we go. We're about 30% through the dungeon. Wait, do I want to go that way? Not yet. I to go this way. I think. I think this is where the chest is. The only chest in this wor level. And it contains a red jewel. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, here we go. Excellent. Yeah, that's the only the only red jewel in Mount Crest. And it's a good one. That's a long dash back to the... I probably could have used the spinner for this too, but... What are you going to do? It doesn't take that long. And now we can continue. Jumping over the bulbs. And that's pretty much all that room is for. Is the, uh... The red jewel. And, uh, the power-up. So now, we're Will again. We can go back. Uh, there's one more in here. I missed him. I missed the enemy. There we go. Excellent. And it's life points. That's what I like to see. So now we're 29 health. New area? Oh, yes. So they, all look, they all look the same. That's what kills me. I mean, I know they have their differences, but... You know, it's, it's, it's tough. Because you got to keep track of where you are based on how many enemies you killed, and that's it's kind of a cheap system of, of navigation, if you think about it. And I haven't even revealed any of, uh, of the... Uh, whatchamacallits. Let me try the slider on this guy. Oh, that works wonderfully. Yeah, I haven't even revealed any of the uh, paths that you got to connect. I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen until the end of the level. When you're almost done with it, the paths start connecting together as you defeat all the enemies. And then that pretty much sets up the way back, so it's not as, as much of a problem to actually get out of this dungeon. And i got to tell you, for a mini dungeon, this, this is pretty well laid out to be a full-fledged regular dungeon. The goal is pretty much the same. you got to retrieve a single item. If it's not the the mystic statue, it's this teapot that I gotta use. Because something weird happens to Neil, and he gets kind of invisible, like what, what happened at the seaside palace. So the teapot is supposed to restore him. Oh, of course, the lag. It's 30 FPS. I'll try to fix that. There we go. The action is back in full. At least I can do it. How many enemies have I killed? Almost all of them. Good. That's what I like to see. Oh my. <laughs> I need to get hit by those. Okay, here's where this, start, this starts happening. And now I can go that way, but I can't go that way yet. Because I haven't killed everything yet. <laughs> Thank you for just running into me like that. I appreciate it. Awesome! HP again. So now we're at 30 health. That is what's up. Oh, hello, chest. It's the mushroom drops. Alright. I could use those. But for what? Well, you need those to uh, progress in this place. Either that or you apply them to the teapot. 
and then that that makes it work. But at any rate, we needed that. We got it. And I'm lagging again. Huh. And it's fixed. It's just a matter of stopping and starting fraps, but... Wait. I was here already. See what I mean? That's where I have to go, up there, because that path isn't connected. Alright. So let's just kind of go around here. This is what I wanted to do. I think. Wait. Yeah, see, that's not right either. Hmm. It's real easy to get lost in these places. Really easy. That's the only way you can go. I guess there's another way out of here, then. Because there's no enemies. So, that path... Oh. Oh, here we go. I know where I am. I have to go this way. No, that was the red jewel room. The way I have to go now is back to the, the start of the thing. Well, almost to start. Yeah, I didn't get all, rid of all the enemies in here yet, so... I know. But you have to go back over this little jump. And away we go! Sorry. There you are. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to... Oh. Huh. Oh, that's right. I guess I gotta go around the long way. Yes. What the heck? Here we go. This is what I was missing before, because the jump I have to make over here allows me to go to the next area. And that's... You die now. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Dark power. Come on, get it. There we go. I'm almost there. To two continues. Oh, and I've got defense. Wonderful. Wonderful. And now we'll fling ourselves across this gap. And that did nothing. Now wait a minute. <laughs> wait just a darn minute. What happened? Hmm. Yeah, see this is the the opening room. Don't tell me that I I beat this already. I know there's more to this place. I didn't get the teapot yet. I know there's another way. You gotta get the teapot. That's the way I came in, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you see, see what happens? This dungeon is ever so confusing. Alright. Just gotta remember where you came from. So I find it interesting that they put that jump there, but you can just walk up the path to where it was. Alright. I'm gonna go up this thing again, but I'm not gonna get, uh... Freed and I'm gonna do it as will. Go this way. Because this way has the ramp. And it sends you back over here. You go this way. I already did this room, but I thought there was another exit. In a different location. Like up or to the west. But this is where I got the chest at. Oh, that's right. I remember now. We go in here. And remember I said that this was not connected. Well, that's what the mu the mushroom drops are for. 
you got to take them and dump them on these pathways and then they heal themselves there we go so now we can continue huh <laughs> yeah here's more madness see what I mean about this being a full dungeon that was only the first part there's three parts to this of course I I guess I could still be freed and couldn't I Oh well. I get him later. You die now. So yeah, this is this is why I was talking this up so much cuz it's just so weird. You dead? Jump over the poisonous blob there at the bottom of my feet. You're dead? casting spirits or something. I don't know what all that's about. I don't want to go in there yet. Not yet. Die now? Obviously I'm going to need more mushroom drops for right there. So that connects over that way. So it looks like, well, yeah. No, the, the only, it's not the only way I can go. I think I can go around this way, too. I just went down instead of up. Yes. No? Yes. I can go this way, too. No, I can't. So that's done. Oh, I still have this guy down here, though. I should really figure out a way to kill him. wonder if the uh, spin dash can do anything. No. No, you definitely need freedom for that guy. And quite honestly, that's kind of cheap. But we'll do it. It won't take me long to run and get him. That's the red jewel room. This goes back to here. So, while I'm doing this... I will talk briefly about the uh, state of the uploads that have been going on because I know that some of you have been wondering why uh, the videos are taking longer than usual you know <clears throat> and uh, I'm getting back on schedule but it's tough to uh, it's tough to do you know I can't say it's tough because it's a difficult process. It's very easy to take a video for me and to just put it online, but sometimes it can uh, can be a very taxing process when I have uh, other responsibilities such as children in my life. Alright, come here you stupid scullet SOB. Where'd you go? Yeah, this room is done pretty much the only way to get around, as I've said, is to use the map. Did I f defeat all the enemies? If I did, then we're good. If I did not, then we have to figure out what to do. And this, obviously, is the new way to go. Uh, oh, get the teapot. <coughs> but I need, or, uh, uh, teardrop, mushroom drop, whatever it's called, but I need another one. Confusing the level. See, this is what I... What floors me about this area is that it was so, so interesting, so well made, as far as, uh, you know, I think the graphics look pretty good. They're very original. But I'll be darned if it isn't one of the most confusing mazes I've ever played in a game. <coughs> so I'm going to wander aimlessly for a while. I wonder if this room is just for that. It's probably what it is. And this, this, if I remember, was the, the red jewel room. But now I'm looking for the room that had that single enemy in it. I was just there, but it's been like two weeks since I played this, so... <laughs> it ain't that one. So, whatever. Uh, next part, I will continue this and figure out, figure it out to the end. See you then.